So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I installed this Frame TV. Uh, if you aren't familiar with the Frame TV, it's a little bit different of an installation process. And so I wanted to create a full video in case you were looking to buy this TV or you already have it and want to go through and install it. And then at the end, I'll also give you my full thoughts kind of on this TV after having it for a couple of months. Hopefully you find this helpful. So one thing that's important to note is when you first get this inside of the box, you can see you have this one box right here and you're going to need to make sure that you have a place to store this when uh, hooking up the TV. There is also the instruction manual here and then those are the cables that you're going to be using. And then it does also come of course with the remote and even the TV stands that you probably won't use because you're probably going to want to use the wall mounts here. Okay, so the first step is to grab these little things right here and we're going to stick them into the squares. This is here. You want to make sure that the um, arrows are pointing towards each other. Next, we're going to go through and mount uh, these little things to the TV. And you can see they have a little L here for left and right. So we want to put this one on the left-hand side. Now, it does have the option to put these behind this bracket here. This will just put it off of the wall a little bit more is my guess. Um, I'm not going to do that because I want it to be as flush as possible. If you have like an outlet or something behind it, that might be a good option. But we're just going to go through and take one of these, these bolts and screw them in uh, right here. Then it does come with these little sticky pads to um, protect the TV and your back of the wall here. So we're gonna go through and put those on the bottom. Then just go through and stick right here. And then of course, because this is the frame, you'll notice that the power cord is a little bit different to make sure that it gets as flush to the wall as possible. You can see this is what the power cord looks like. You can go through and open it up right here. And then this plugs in to the back right here. And then once you have that plugged in, what you're gonna do is take this one box right here and then you're going to end up plugging this in right here in the back, or sorry, we're plugging that in to right here in the back. And then there's another power outlet for this where you have like your HDMI and everything like that. So something to note about this um, frame, this is something you're gonna to wanna to know before you purchase this to make sure that this setup will work for you. Okay, now we need to figure out where exactly we need to put this template on the wall. So you can see this has, the template has lots of different sizes depending on what your TV is. Um, so if you needed it to be even bigger, you can see on the back there's even up to 85 inches. We were doing the 55, so what you wanna do with this is make sure that these two lines are pointing right next to each other. So we're gonna go through and add those right here and then just tape this together for our template. Okay, now before you go through and hang up this template, it's important to hang up the template based on where the brackets are gonna be. Um, so you're measuring the right, uh, getting it in the right spot. So you can see that the way these, these brackets work is this just comes through and pulls out like this and then you can go through and clip this um, on here. And obviously when you're measuring, um, sometimes when people will measure the top of the TV and that's where they're putting the bracket, obviously you don't wanna go through and do that. You need to account for the space in between here. And what I mean by that is I drew out this rough little diagram here. You can see, I want my TV to be nine and a half inches above the mantle over here. I want it to be nine and a half inches so it covers those two holes right there. And then I want it to be, I have a 56 inch um, wide, the, TV, the fireplace is 56 inches wide. And I want, uh, and this is 48 inches wide. So I want four inches on each side. So what I need to do when I'm putting this template in here is I need to add in nine and a half inches from the top of this template. So you can see here, if I measure right there, that is 21 and a half inches, which means I need to do 21 and a half inches up plus nine and a half. So I need to measure up 30 inches, 30 and a half inches. And then same thing with the sides. You can see here, I want it to be four inches. Um, I want four inches of width on the side and the brackets. So I'm doing this with one hand. You can see the brackets from here to here is six inches. Uh, it's actually about uh, seven, six and a half. So that's gonna be 10.5 right there, I'm glad I measured that again. So this is gonna not be 10, but 10.5. I'm gonna go through and measure that in. Hopefully that makes sense when I'm taping this thing up. Now, of course, what's nice about this mount is where, depending on where your studs are, there's lots of places where you can go through and drill. Um, so choose whatever is best for, um, for your setup, whatever that is. Um, if you are not drilling into a stud, make sure you have toggle bolts or it does come with some wall anchors. I'm gonna be using some toggle bolts personally. Okay, so we just went through and drilled some pilot holes. Now we can go through and take this off and then we're gonna go through and use um, our toggle bolts and wall anchors to get this all mounted up and ready to go. So these are the toggle bolts. Basically you go through and slip these into here. Then we're gonna go through and tighten them and then we break off the string here. So the toggle bolts are completely optional. I just went through and used them because I didn't have as many studs to hit. And then it does come with wall anchors that you can use that they provide. 
have all of our holes drilled and that's the hard part. Now we just need to go through and drill the actual brackets into there and um, yeah, we'll kind of go from that point. And you may notice here that I only have four screws basically, four for each bracket. It does come with eight screws total. Um, so you'll have to go through and use those uh, in any of the holes that you want to, whatever makes best sense for your setup. I would highly recommend having a level that is long enough to reach across both these to make sure that both of the brackets are level when you're going through and mounting the TV. Okay, so you can see we have those all level. I made sure they were melt, melt level in between. Um, now it's time to go through and hang up the TV. I'm doing this solo right now, so hopefully I can get it up by myself. I'll let you know how hard that is. I'd probably recommend having two people though in this situation. Let's go through and get this thing mounted. Definitely don't do this one. And then this we're gonna feed down into that hole you saw there and it's gonna come out here. I'll show you what this looks like here in a minute. Okay, so we got this thing turned on now. You can see the cords run through here and then we have the plug in right through here to take that out for a minute. If right through, I'll go through and put that back on and we have it plugged in through this one box here. And then I did go through and buy these, uh, this teak wood frame. This is the Samsung frame for the frame TV. Uh, you can see here, these actually just magnetize to the TV, so it's very easy to install. This is what it looked like before those frames. And then installing it, like I said, was very easy to go through and do. You just basically pop them on there. This, of course, is optional. Um, I got these, like I said, on Amazon. I'll leave a link to them down below. Uh, but in case you are like me and wanted to get the actual frame, you can go through and uh, get that there. But very easy to install this as well. But I think it looks good both ways, but to me it just does look a little bit better with the wood frames on the side. And as you can see, it looks super, super clean. These fit on perfectly. Okay, and it has now been a couple months since I've been playing around with this TV and testing out all the different features and things. And I gotta say, I am hooked. I see why people love this TV so much. Um, a couple of things that I do wanna point out that I really like about it. So the first thing is the app that it does come with. Um, so when you go through and get to this app here, you can see it allows you to actually go through and control the TV so you can turn it on and off from your phone or change the channel and things like that. But the thing that I like the most, of course, is the art mode. Um, there are lots of free art that you can put on, on this. You can put, you can upload your own art as well, or they have a whole library where you can go through and buy um, different art. So I wanted to show you real quick how you can go through and change that. You can see I've gone through and made some favorites, and I just use the complimentary ones because uh, they really are awesome in my opinion. So you can see here are some of my favorites. And then if I wanted to, I could go through and display all of them or display one of them. So if I wanted to go through and uh, make this one over here, you can see I just click that, and I set set on the frame, and you can see here it will go through and change to that picture just like that. So it's very easy to go through and change out the artwork on here or have it on a timer where every 15 minutes or so it goes through and changes uh, the artwork. And I don't know if the camera does this justice, but I think this looks incredibly realistic. And of course, not only is the, does it look realistic when the photo's on, so in order to get it out of the photo mode, all you do is press this right here, and you can see it will go to, uh, it'll actually go to the TV settings. If you click this again, then it will go back to the photo settings. So uh, if you click it again, you'll see it go back there. If you wanted to actually turn off the entire TV, you hold down the power and then it will turn it off completely. It is of course a smart TV, so you have access to all of your favorite apps and things, and the picture quality is uh, really nice in my opinion. So uh, overall, very happy with this TV, and you can see just how flush it actually is to the wall here, which is probably my favorite part. And I would definitely recommend the frames. I think it does give it a whole nother level of uh, realisticness. I do want to quickly address two of the negatives with this TV. The first being the audio. Um, now the audio isn't the best if you're looking for a TV that has really awesome audio. I personally don't care, and I think it's plenty loud. Um, I'm not like a big audio person, so it doesn't do any, uh, it doesn't, I don't care that much about it. The next is the actual power box. Now, depending on your setup, you may or may not like this setup down here where you have the power box over here. You can see uh, basically it runs through the wire on that setup. It's not a big problem for me because it's kind of over on this side, but for certain setups, it may or may not work out well. Um, so you need to plan out where this power box is gonna be. But besides that, I uh, would definitely recommend something like this. Uh, absolutely beautiful, great TV picture and uh, everything that I would have wished for. So hopefully you found that helpful. Of course, links to this TV will be down in the description and to the frame that I did get as well. Um, it does help support the channel if you check those out and we'll see you in the next one.